Alex Hansry here with a special geomagnetic report. At the very moment that I'm speaking, we're in the red, but we're not talking about money. We're talking about a geomagnetic storm during a deep soar minimum. And throughout the whole day, I've been recording. Well, not all day. Synchronicity with some of the themes, becoming more interested in the sun right before the sun becomes more active. Let me show you this. I have a number of different things that I have uh, planned to show you. Okay, so we're over here at spaceweather.gov. Dot com. Signs of life from Solar Cycle 25. Solar Cycle 25 is coming to life for the second time this month. A sunspot from the next solar cycle has emerged in the sun's southern hemisphere. So I'm going to be somebody on YouTube letting you know in real time that we have a geomagnetic storm. You may be feeling changes within yourself. There may be changes taking place. Like literally even down to the hour of some of the like the heavy, heavy changes. Now what we have is a minor G1 geomagnetic storm. And so you know what's really interesting is when you go over on the newswire. And there was a story of some sort of a big massive group brawl in a mall. Literally right as uh, we were seeing a geomagnetic storm. About 24 hours ago. So it was afternoon, I would say late afternoon. So here we have a spotless sun. And regardless of a spotless sun, we have solar activity. Okay, so here's a paper that has been authored uh, by someone else. How to cope with the solar flares. And so a lot of these ideas I have already brought to you, right? But some of them I haven't, right? Some of the things that are here I haven't even mentioned. You know, and some of you, you might be thinking, oh, Alex, this sounds too spiritual. You know what? I think it's time for us to get real with this. Now that we're looking at actual scientific studies, right, where they've actually confirmed an actual, like, consciousness response, even if it's subconscious. The Caltech study, right? This is not cuckoo. This is reality. So, according to uh, NatalieKuna.com, how solar flares, geonic storms affect us. Headaches, migraines, breathing issues, sleeping issues. The thing is, right, are benzos the solutions, right? Are heavy drugs the solutions? Or is getting, like, extra rest or, uh, the solution? Or maybe doing something with the extra energy, because we're going to see changes in the energy. Irritable mood. And see, if people don't know at all that work in the world of law enforcement and mental health and <laughs> hospitals and, I mean, just mention it. Like, think about it. Like, where is this not relevant in our lives? So we are showcasing, again, the work of Another very intelligent person. I'm shuffling different windows. I'm glad this is working out for all of us. May we have a great time tonight. You know, sometimes, have you ever got that vibe where it feels like a Friday night? Well, I'm going to be in for the night, right? But I'm active inside. I'm creating videos. And so even if we're in periods in which we have a quiet sun... There could still be some heavy, heavy activity. Okay, let's get some additional information. So remember to breathe. But also, if you need to release some energy, do it in an appropriate manner. Hopefully, this is making some sense for people, right? Now, there's a number of symptoms that this author has listed. And I went through looking for a number of symptoms that other authors have found and came up with like a similar list. Um, this isn't, you know, everything. And there are some positive aspects. Absolutely. But like I say, sometimes the positive aspects come after we, like we get our charge, you know, like maybe after like the storm calms, you know, there's, there's the focus that returns, but sometimes some humans, for whatever reason, they might respond really positively to the solar flares, you know, and be in a really, really good mood. 
And so why that is, why different people respond differently, that's another area of speculation, but it's an important conversation to have. In addition, how certain areas or places on the planet may be responding collectively in a particular way to that energy. So there could be like a festival or like awesome stuff going on in a certain part of the world, for example, in another part of the world that's also being bombarded uh, with the same solar energy, they may be in the middle of a civil war. And so the heightened energy is going to be expressing itself in real time in different ways. So here we have issues with the heart. And I think that there is a connection with people passing away during geomagnetic storms when their heart can't handle it. Ross Perot just passed within hours of this geomagnetic storm. I see the pattern again and again and again. And the things that I've actually brought to air, the videos, not even 1% of the things that I've noticed. And so over the years, I've seen how some people have discounted a lot of my work. I think things are changing. At least I hope they are at the moment because we're starting to see more confirmation of this. And I think that if people were open-minded enough to come across this information that could really help them keep it together, especially if they're the types to kind of go off. This would include, right, people that have issues with substance abuse. You know, I don't think that it just begins and ends with, uh, you know, the thing that's been come, uh, been come to uh, be known as Alcoholics Anonymous. <laughs> I think that there is an actual science uh, to why people in certain periods go through certain intense feelings or emotions. That's not normally explained through modern psychology. Now, let's go over here to Solar Max News. And, uh, of course, I have a number of windows open at the moment. And so with multiple windows, my computer's having to do some thinking. So the strategization behind geomagnetic storms is a deeper subject. But the idea of mass meditations has been addressed for a number of years. My computer is kind of wanting to do its own thing right now, but this is solarmaxnews.com. And these are some of the recent videos that have been posted to the YouTube channel. Okay. So when we go through these geomagnetic storms, another question could be asked. It's pretty warm here on this uh, July afternoon. Another question that we could ask ourselves regarding technology and regarding certain issues is computer malfunctions. So it's cosmic rays and both solar flares and other things, other fields uh, that can mess with our devices. And so, you know, can minor issues like, you know, browsers uh, loading up uh, certain things in a, in a reasonable amount of time. <laughs> and so like what we just went through, you know, just then and there. By the way, this is my uh, Patreon page. I, I think it would be awesome if you joined tonight.